Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. This video is in response to a viral video that David Ibiomi did, supposedly yesterday. And here is my response. Before I go any further, I'd love to appreciate everyone for checking up on me. I thank you so much for your calls. Thank you for your concern. Uh, thank you for your worries. And I want to assure you via this medium that even with a gun to my head, I'll still preach the truth and nothing but the truth. The truth about Christ, the truth about the scriptures, the real truth, the hidden truth about Christianity. So help me God. I was very devastated by that video because of the contents thereof. I didn't insult Bishop David Oyedipo. He quoted from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 and I drew his attention to verse 21. Correcting scripturally is not an insult. Christ was criticized. Paul was criticized. Peter was criticized. Even the Pharisees were criticized. So there's no way you're going to preach a message from the scriptures that you will not get criticism. It's impossible. Even the closest friends of mine who agree doctrinally still disagree over some scriptures here and there, some doctrines here and there, and some ideologies. I find it very devastating that just to get to me, Pastor Ibiomi, he will drag the whole Somalian nation. I'm very proud to associate myself with Somalians and Somalia because they are beautiful people beautiful Africans like you and I. It is hate speech to undermine them with derogatory words. Is it not just a Somalian? Like there's anything wrong with being Somalian. To all my followers and fans in Somalia, I love you all and I'm proud to be associated with you even though by birth I'm not Somalian. My mom is European and my father is Yoruba. Going beyond this, I also need to draw the attention of the public and the law enforcement to the threat of life that was issued to me in that video. Pastor Ibiomi, I don't know if you realize that the threat to life is a criminal offense. And let it be on the record that you threatened my life. Is this how Nigeria is going to accept this? If anything happens to me, I hope you know who to hold responsible. This has been on social media space for about 24 hours now. I'm yet to hear anything from the police. What happened to our laws and hate speech? Racism. Discriminatory statements. Threat to life which is actually criminal. What happened to all this? Are we going to keep quiet and just let this lie because it's coming from a pastor? Pastor Ibiomi, you went on again to undermine the noble profession of broadcasting. I'm a proud broadcaster for the last 25 years. I've dedicated my life to this beautiful, noble profession. I've taken my children along with me to the radio to familiarize themselves with the radio, hoping that one or two of them can fall in love with it. You demean it to such a great extent. Such a glorious profession that disseminates very important information, a tool used by all of us, including the church, Are we going to make broadcasters feel bad for making broadcasting their career choice because 
of how little money is there? Maybe broadcasters should start collecting tight and offering too. So you at least get the feeling that someone of your caliber is talking to you. I think you should apologize to every journalist, every broadcaster for undermining our work. Furthermore, for challenging the irregularities I perceive in religion, does that make me less of a human being? Are you aware that the word half caste is racist? The world is fighting against racism, systemic racism, outright racism. And it brings tears to my eyes that a black man will refer to a fellow black man during the time that people are crying that black lives matter as a half caste. Hate speech, let me inform you, is criminal. It's derogatory to make such a remark. And I ask that you apologize for it. You say I'm not my father's son. I put it to you to prove who my real father is. Because with that verbal construct, you have insulted the integrity of my mother, who is a professor of law, Pastor Ibiomi. Do you honestly believe that the tenets of Christianity were upheld in that video? Do you believe that as a pastor behind a pulpit, you showed the likeness of Christ in your utterances in that video? Is what you did in synchrony and symphony with the Christian scriptures? You said you would finish me. From my understanding, that's another criminal offense. A threat to life is criminal. And, it, and if anything happens to me, so I'm speaking, I'm speaking to the public, I'm speaking to the police, I'm speaking to the world at large, should anything whatsoever happen to me, I want you to know who to hold responsible. Every day we shout for freedom of speech. How can our dreams be shattered with threats of death from the ones we expect to guide our spiritual lives? Even with a gun to my head, I will continue preaching the true word of God. I will continue debunking errors in Christian teachings with the scriptures. I have called several times for debates. You don't agree with what I'm saying? Debate. When Bishop Oedipo said something I didn't agree with, I brought out the scriptures. He quoted from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. I quoted from the same book of Ephesians chapter 5. You have any disagreement with my stance, my teachings, my doctrines. Call for a debate, online, offline, however you want it. Bring the scriptures, let's discuss them. I've made it open. But instead of debating my stance with the scriptures, you're resorting to winding people up emotionally with death threats and derogatory statements with racism from behind the pulpits with hate speech against Somalians against broadcasters calling people of mixed race half caste Pastor Ibiomi this is all shades of wrong